Dear Minister, I'm recording this message today because right now you could help us to save a million water birds a year from dying a horrific death from lead poisoning. Now in 2016 I became known as the human swan for flying the migration route with the Buick swans all the way from the Russian Arctic across Europe to the UK to try and find out why so many birds are dying along the way. And I did it in a paramotor, basically hanging from a paraglider with a propeller on my back. Uh, in a paramotor you can take off and land on your feet so I could stop anywhere, see the issues for myself, but more importantly I could talk to a lot of people. And what became very clear on that trip was that one of the main issues for the birds is poisoning from spent lead shot. Once in, particularly when it's shot over wetlands, because those tiny pellets are impossible for the birds to tell from grit or from food. Now every time a shotgun is fired, from a single cartridge up to 300 tiny pieces of lead are sprayed across the land. And in Europe alone, that, that amounts to over 20,000 tonnes of lead year on year that is spread across the ground. This is clearly a really big issue, particularly because it's left where birds are feeding. Now, it's obvious that once the pellets enter waterways, they can, they can then, uh, the lead can then be absorbed into the water and then into the plants, and that can also be eaten by other animals. Now, I will never forget the first autopsy of a lead-poisoned swan that I witnessed. The bird's entire throat was choked with food because the lead poisoning had paralysed its gut and it could no longer swallow. And the in front leading edge of its wings, rather than being white, were open bloody wounds because the bird had been trying to drag itself along the ground. The lead poisoning had completely paralysed its legs. And when we opened up the bird inside its stomach or gizzard, as we'd expected, along with the grit, there were 21 lead pellets that have been ground down. Now inside a bird's stomach it's muscular with hard plates that grind the food down. They grind down the lead and that uh, which is highly toxic and it gets absorbed into the blood and it can in fact affect then the entire nervous system of the bird but also all of the major organ systems of the body. That same poisoning we now know can also happen to people that are eating birds and other game that's shot with lead. Obviously humans can pull out the main pellets, but what they can't pull out are the tiny fragments that break off from the lead and are spread throughout the meat, and they can be eaten. And we now know that this in children causes development problems. It can affect IQ. It can lead to chronic kidney disease, heart problems, but also likely other diseases such as cancer. And now even some major supermarkets have realised the problem and have stopped selling any game meat that's been shot with lead because they too have realised that they could be inadvertently also poisoning their customers. But this is where you could come in and help stop all of this. Scientists from right across Europe have now recommended a ban on the use of lead in ammunition for obvious reasons. But the first step is for Europe to decide whether to accept that science and finally agree to harmonise the law right across Europe and agree a ban on lead over all wetlands. Now it's time for every country to step up. I'm asking you to please use your country's vote on the REACH Committee to finally end the use of lead over wetlands. Now your vote could be critical. Even abstaining in this could mean the proposal fails. Supporting it, however, could end the suffering and death of millions of water birds. It would remove a toxin from our environment, which would help benefit everybody. And it could also reduce the number of people that are inadvertently eating lead as well. We've removed lead from paint, we've removed it from pipes, and we've removed it from fuel. It's now time to remove it from lead ammunition as well. And just to be very clear, this most certainly is not an attack on hunting. I have spoken to hundreds of hunters all along my journey, but also since then, and I'm yet to meet one who has seen a bird die from lead poisoning and has understood the scale of this issue and would want that to continue. So, the risks are really high, the suffering is great, and the answer is really simple. Right now, at a time when we've all understood more than ever before the really close connection between the health of our environment, the health of wildlife, and the health of people, this is a time when you can really make a difference. So please, on behalf of the million water birds that die every year from lead poisoning, instruct your team to vote in support of a ban in the use of lead ammunition over wetlands. Thank you.